Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over uh, one of these cheap lasers that I bought from Amazon. Uh, it was like $28. So I just wanted to test these Chinese laser modules. Um, this one here is, well, when I ordered it, it was a 500 milliwatt, 445 whatever that um, wavelength is. Well, I get it here, at, or 445 wavelength, and I get it home and it's 405 and nm. Looking online, I, I, they say that's a better one, so I guess that's okay. Um, this one came with a control board built on. However, there is zero documentation and there's really no, hardly any information on this model. I found a few on the YouTube and stuff without the control board built on. So it only has a power, like it has um, black and white inputs and that's it. Okay, um, this one, and the reason I bought it, it actually has the TTL PWM input which is is weird because there's four pins so positive negative over here and then this one of these has a ground and then the other one it says pwm but then there's a the T, ttl is kind of pointed down in the middle so i'm not sure if this one shares the the pin or not because my understanding reading a few or watching a few videos and even on the ad from Amazon um, PWM turns it on and off but the TTL will do the strength I don't know if this one has a strength okay the other thing is there's a little switch here not sure what it does um, it like it almost turns it off but I'm I uh, I'm just gonna play with it to see uh, I built, I 3D printed this wheel because this is the focal and you're having here getting a little close with your fingers and I didn't, you know, I was kind of worried about that. So I put that on, I turned it all the way to one direction. Um, you can actually go quite a bit. I didn't go the other way all the way because I'm, I'm almost scared it's going <clears> to <throat> come off. So I turned the focal length all the way one way and I'm hoping that's the closest and I'm going to play with that, okay? Now, one of the things with this, as soon as you turn this thing on, it's powered, okay? Um, so I hooked it up to a power bar with the switch. So I'm gonna plug it in, and there's no power going to it right now. I hope not. Um, this light's not on here. So the light, so if I quickly, before I plug it in, yeah, so the red light comes on. So we'll turn it off for now. Um, this, is a 12 volt two and a half amp output on this power part now some of the other ones I looked at are only one and a half amp so is that a good thing or a bad thing i don't know um this had some negative reviews in amazon like i'm from amazon.ca um both people that reviewed it said it was junk i don't know when i got out of the box i seem okay happy with it it's it seems fairly well built it's 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 you know it's it's aluminum or I think and it's it's got a little bit of weight to it so I'm, I'm assuming that part's good so um, let's plug it in um, I, I got a couple different pieces of wood here this lighter colored wood is Baltic birch and that's probably mostly what I'm going to use or maple which is close uh, and then underneath I have a little bit of cherry okay and I'm just going to see now again I don't know the focal length and I can't find it anywhere online so I, again, I think it's just a matter of playing. So I'm gonna turn it on. Um, now my safety glasses didn't come in yet, so I gotta be really, really careful not to look at them beam too much, but okay. So if I turn it on, it's already on. Now if I push the button, it's, it got really weak. I mean, it's there, but really weak. And I don't wanna burn the wire here, so I gotta keep that out of the way. But nowhere could I find with this to find a, a focal point. And the, I don't know why the red light's blinking, so um, hopefully if someone knows that, they can let me know. So I'm going to turn this on, and 
again the focal point I had it burning some paper a little earlier so I'm gonna try to move that focal point in and apparently you're supposed to move it till that gets pretty thin and there that's about there so you can see it smoking I can smell it so is that the focal point so let's turn that off okay so you can see it burnt but it doesn't burn through obviously but I think at that point you know if I go here again I can actually can't go very fast so if I go too fast, whoop, don't burn my table so if I go too fast it won't burn, so this is going to be a slow burn so I don't even know in terms of on a CNC what that would be worth um, and I'm trying to follow this. So if I keep going around, like it's almost starting on fire. So, but I don't think it's actually going to burn through. No. Okay, but it does burn. Okay, so now let's try this piece of cherry I'll go off to one side here and again find that sweet spot I'm just trying to draw something but okay so now I'm going to lift it up and see if I can keep focusing like how wrong way so if I can actually focus at this height to that point yeah okay so it actually has a good range of focal so um, I guess there's no really set distance you just have to once you dial it in you have to remember it I guess but um, but as far as I can see, um, for my purpose of what I'm doing, it's a very fine line. Um, if you hold it in the same spot each time, and there we go, that's a good focal. I just keep going. Go through. So I'm going to put this other piece in here and just hold it. Let's get it to the focal point. Oh, now I can't find the focal point here. That's one way. Oh. Right about there. So I'm going to hold it and see if I hold it there for a long time in the exact same spot, is it going to go through? It's not catching fire, so let's, let's shut that off for a second here. Nope, didn't go through. But it does burn. We'll see how long it lasts. This, this unit itself does not heat up whatsoever. Okay, so, uh, so that seems good. So I guess now I need to figure out um, the PDMAM, TDF, uh, you know, I don't care about power as long as it's full power. Um, I just need to turn, be able to turn it on and off, and I don't know much about that. Do you know? Do I just send five volts in here? Because uh, that's I think what I read somewhere. And so, if I send a five volt signal, will it turn it off? And then release the signal, turn it off, because it's it's already on. So. I, you know, it's, I guess it's normally closed switch. So, um, but other than that, it, it seems it's got a little uh, screw here mount. I don't know what size of thread that is. Well, actually, you know, we can see right here. Now, I don't know. These are all metric screws in here, um, and I'm assuming this is probably metric. So I have an M5. 
I guess I won't be able to because that would be that would I guess be M6. Is now I think this might be six. This is a printer. Uh, hard to tell. I don't know because that, this is a printer head of a, or a nozzle for a 3D printer, and it doesn't fit. And th those are M6, so um, it, I think it might be quarter inch actually. Uh, but again, it does print or sorry, it does burn. Not super well. Oh, here's I'm gonna try something here. I got some fuzzies here. Let's see if if I can actually burn those fuzzies here. Let's see, let's see. On. And again, I gotta find that focal point. Okay, let's find the. There's a point. Okay, so if I hit that, can I get it to catch fire? No. But again, you know, it does burn. My biggest thing is I, I make crib boards and I use my CNC um, to cut them and then I use my K40 laser to burn them, but it's two separate machines. And the problem with that is uh, when you're running two separate machines to get them to line up. So I'm trying to make a simple CNC that'll do the simple line engraving and then just the drilling of the holes so that part will line up um, and then I'll have one machine just to do that and I'll and I have to f somehow figure out the program the offset from here to the offset of the of the, the router bit and then that can be programmed um, when you run the the control board, so um, I'm thinking about going with um, Gerbil, because yeah, apparently there's uh, a program called Gerbil Laser as well. So I'm, I'm hoping that's going to work. So anyway, so that's the review of this thing. I really wish there would have been some sort of documentation within there. Uh, and again, I, I googled it. This model number that's written on here is FBO4. And again, there's videos out there, but none of them have the board on here. Just the fan and, and then just the positive negative out output. Matter of fact, a lot of the FBO4s that I've seen were 5 volt control, where this is a 12 volt, according to, according to um, this unit here. So, anyway, well, thanks for watching.